Hey guys, welcome back to All Alone Law. This is Quick Radiology. And today we're going to talk about causes for a pancreatic calcification. Pancreatic calcification. So guys, uh, this is very important that you should know the causes for a pancreatic calcification because in your assembly they will give you the CAT scan finding of this that the patient is having what you call sign symptoms and they will have what you call calcified pancreas so what is a diagnosis so you should know the cal causes for pancreatic calcification okay remember the different types of calcification okay um, it depends on uh, how it's deposited it can be deposited if this is a pancreas it can be deposited like this okay or either it can be a very small or either it could be what you call speculated what you call this can be like this on over here and localized okay so let's talk about the causes for this is here you can see the in the case of cyst adenocarcinoma okay right mm, so let's talk about the causes for a pancreatic calcification what is the most important remember is alcoholic pancreatitis alcoholic pancreatitis okay and the cause for this what you call the calcification in this is intraductal calculi intraductal calculi okay guys so very important okay uh, rarely it can be a solitary and the calculi are numerous, irregular, and generally very small. Okay, then we have what you call cirrhosis. Cirrhosis can give rise to pancreatic calcification. Okay, um, this can be what you call it may be what you call a curvilinear rim calcification. It can give curvilinear rim calcification okay and it's most of the time it's what you know it's due to what you call chronic pancreatitis right then we have a carcinoma of head of the pancreas or carcinoma of the pancreas okay as we know the what you call uh, um, this is a really very important you should remember the cause for that okay and then we have hyperparathyroidism hyper para thyroidism okay right and the type of calcification you see in this hyperparathyroidism is similar to what you call you see in a chronic pancreatitis okay um then we have what you call cystic fibrosis This occurs what you call it's, it's, it's a late complication of what you call a cystic fibrosis. Okay, calcification seen in these patients is a late complication. Okay, and the type of calcification you see in this cystic fibrosis is, is a finally granular. Remember, okay, finally granular, not coarse, it's a finally granular. Then we have the other causes like what you call quasi archer. Kosciarker, okay. Uh, pancreatic lithiasis is a frequent finding, okay, in these patients. Remember, okay, and the pattern of calcification you see in these patients is similar to what you call uh, um, chronic pancreatitis, okay. So um, these are the important causes. The other causes being the hereditary pancreatitis, okay. Remember, hereditary pancreatitis. This is really very important. And in hereditary pancreatitis, it's what you call typically rounded, okay, and often larger than the other pancreatic diseases, right? So it's typically rounded is really very important, remember. Okay, and cyst adenoma or cyst adenocarcinomas can give rise to pancreatic calcification, okay? Uh, but they're not specific, but they can give what you call sunburst appearance, okay? 
and idiopathic can be what you call um, the uh, one of the can be the cause for a pancreatic calcification so these are the important causes for a pancreatic calcification guys thank you so much for watching this video guys take care